YouTube, what is going on? Welcome to another episode of the Culture Kicks channel. I'm Chase, and today we're here in Wildwood, New Jersey, looking to cash out at the Just Nice Sneaker Convention. Brought a lot of money, gonna be buying about 50 to 100 pairs of shoes. We're gonna be interviewing a bunch of the sneaker resellers to see how they've been dealing with this recession. Gotta hit them with the fit check, got the Fear God hat on, my all black Sunday good shirt, my Legends Never Die Juice World shorts, the Yeezy Onyx slides. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Tell me how you think the video goes, and we'll catch you in the convention center. This is my first time seeing these in person too. Confirm at 1.30. Homer Simpson dunks. They just released the Bart Simpsons like what, a week ago? And now um, the Homer Simpsons, these are actually unreleased, right? They come out August 10th. You said 1.30, would you do 1.20? Yeah, cool, that's wrong. 60, 80, 100, 120, bro. Follow me on Instagram at 215 underscore kicks with a Z. Nike Barbershop Dunks. These have been really good for us in a size 10. I think I had someone who wanted these, so got them at a good price at 120. That's about market price, so happy to be going home with these. Got 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120. Appreciate you. I like 180. 180? More like the bid? Like 160? In the middle, 170. 170? Yeah, I'll run that. 170. Some crazy camo dunks in a size 6. 100, 20, 40, 60, 170. Thank you, man. Oh, hell so, YouTube, we're here with my guy, Wombat Kicks. Like, what your takes are on the sneaker recession, and also, when did you start reselling? Well, I started reselling maybe just nice seriously, like, three years ago. It's done really well for me. The recession is terrible. Yeah. I've survived through it. Of course. And honestly, everything's going to come back at some point. So I, I don't really think it's too bad right now. Right. And as you can see, there's still people out. So people here. What would you say though? Like, how have you been able to maneuver like through the recession? Like, what have you been? What have you changed? I've been having to get a lot more pairs from resellers instead of getting them all from the store. Okay. Everywhere That's I right. go, everything's clipped. That's as soon right, as I get there, it's clipped. Interesting. Everything's backdoored. Yeah. People are moving different now. And right. It's, uh, it's annoying. What would you say about you know taking this time to like collect inventory versus like loading it off? What are you trying to do? Are you buying or are you selling right now? Like, I don't know selling right here, but right now, in the grand scheme of things. Like, Today, I'm, I'm almost sold out of everything that I brought. I didn't bring that many, that many shoes with me. Right. I didn't go crazy. A lot of stuff I've been holding, because a lot of stuff is oh, good, like the military, military slides right now are great holds. So. Sure. The IG's what? SR Kicks, right? We want to know when you started reselling and what you're doing differently in this sneaker recession. I started reselling since May of 2021, and I got really into it last summer. Part of the recession, I think you have to really look for pairs which your clientele wants. You have to look for pairs which you can move at a good price. You can't you'd be very, very selective. So for me personally, I see that in my area, Northeast Philadelphia, I see a lot of men's dunks, grade school dunks, and women's dunks. Only good hype colorways, which people are able to wear. I think it's very hard for me to sell, for example, a Jordan 1 Low right now. Obviously with the recession, it seems like you're doing all right. You yeah. sold me some pairs, yeah. but um, just get through it. And remember, like this is the bottom of the bottom. So anything in a year from now, two years from now, you'll be making a lot of bread. I so appreciate that, appreciate you, bro. Can't get enough of these things. Easy Onyx foam runners. Yeah, yeah, I got cash for you. Trying to buy more of these. The warm blue UNC uh, Paisley colorway. This is a clean shoe. It's something that we need to restock on. I think it's just really nice for the ladies. Maybe 60, 80. 100. I'll do uh, so the five, five and a half, and a five and a half and a six. Uh, you only have what a si two sixes and a five and a half, so I'll just do a five and a half and a six. Five and one forty, or one fifty, one fifty. Five ninety. Three and up on the two tones, and a five and a five and a half. These aura blues, I really like these with the uh, all white. Swoosh, makes them look cool. One, two, three, four, five, fifty, seventy. A quick question, bro. How have you been dealing with the sneaker recession? And when did you start reselling? Right when like the lockdown happened during COVID. Gotcha. I've been reselling from there. Pretty much, I've been trying to buy like the shoes, like with like the good trends, like these, like the gray white. Of course. White. Yep. Not just like Perfect mids and stuff. Always go up. Yep. Buy low, sell high. Buy low, sell high. You heard it here first. Appreciate it, bro. Thank you. We got BJ's kicks here. 
When did you start reselling, and what are you doing during the sneaker recession to like get through it? I started in January 2020, and I'm just doing like little sales. Did you fresh clothes for your new house? Like selling stuff for a little lower than right. I normally was. What would you say like with buying? Like, are you buying anything in particular, or are you just like still buying like you were back when you first started? Uh, when I first started, bro, I was going crazy. I was yeah. Trying to yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Right. I'm not going to spend the tears. So I buy, like, you know, wild, well, it's good. Cheap shit, dumb. Right. You feel me? Lows, all of that. And then if it's a release, I go crazy on the releases. But gotcha. other than that, I don't just buy. Different breeds, so. Talk to me. Can we do that button? 280? 280. And uh, from 7.5. So Feet Pieces Delaware came through. He said he just saw our Sneaker Con Las Vegas video, so I thought I got to cash him out. Yeezy, 350 Onyxes, Jordan 3, Desert Elephants. He's blessing me with retail on these. Just picked these up. These are just releasing today. 760. Cool. One, two, three, four, five hundred, seven hundred, twenty, forty, sixty. When did you start reselling, and what are you doing during the sneaker recession to like get through it? I started reselling maybe like last year, so I've been a, a little over a year right now. I also work a full-time job, so I'm gotcha. back and forth with it. Uh, it's no pressure because it's not my only income, but you know I'm trying right, to make right. it full-time at the same time. Hey. Recession is what it is, man. You gotta, um, I'm the type of reseller, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I get in myth, being greedy. Get what I get, profit to profit to me, you know what I'm saying? Right. You buy it, yeah. buy it, and just keep yeah, rinsing and repeating. Yes, sir. About the connections, man. Got gotcha. you. Oh, no, of course. Want the customer to come back. That's all. Absolutely. That's good. You always around the camera. I know, it's right? good. What's up? What's up? So my guy Mundo just cashed him out, big time. I got two questions for you, bro. Yes, sir. When did you start reselling, and what are you doing to get through this sneaker recession? I've always been uh, in the sneakers, but when I started taking it serious for money, 14, 15 ish around there, just mm -hmm. getting out of high school, always doing loops. Right. But I was always doing it for myself. I had a bunch of friends. Yo, what do you get this? That's when I put two and two together, like, listen, I can make money off of this. I mean, we went through, now Now we're in a recession before, what, we went through COVID. Right, you've seen it happen yeah, before so now. We, I mean, if we can last through COVID, I mean, recession, it's honestly the same routine, just getting up, looping, making sure you come to these events. Stay grinding. Yeah, as long as you're consistent, I mean, I guess we can really make it through anything, bro. Absolutely, consistency is key. Appreciate you, bro. Chase, Thank I you. I appreciate you, my guy. See you. All right, YouTube, that about wraps up another video. Thank you, Just Nice Sneaker Convention, for hosting us. I hope you guys enjoyed the content. We were able to cash out big time, as well as interview some of these sneaker resellers to talk about what they're doing and how they're dealing with the sneaker recession. So, the next time you'll see us cashing out will be at the SneakerCon DC. That's in August. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe for all that good stuff. We'll catch you there. Enjoy. Take care.